Hi, I'm Roseanne Jambro, and this is our baby gorilla who's having another nap. You might wonder what a baby gorilla does for his entire day. So the day in his day, say we could start the day at 8 a.m. Well, 8 a.m. the staff is here and our vets give him a little check. They take his temperature, they listen to his heart rate and his breathing, making sure he doesn't have any congestion. And then he goes to the uh, tropical forest to visit his family. So for the next couple of hours, he'll visit the family. And we are not in with the gorillas, but we are next to the gorillas. And they're separated from us by, you know, a, a, a similar to chain link barrier. And we, we stay with him the whole time. We never just let him run. And we always stay near the mom. And I've noticed that the mom and the grandmom and the other female, Ibu, they will uh, stay with us the whole time. If they get up and move, then we go with them. So we, I try to encourage um, all the people who've, who've helped us so much with the baby to let him have eye contact with his family. And many times he'll be eating on a piece of celery or having his bottle, and I'll be giving the family their celery at the same time. So everybody's eating, they're just not all together. So after a couple of hours of that, of course, the gorilla family goes up on exhibit. And, uh, and then the baby comes outside. And so then he gets three hours outside if the weather's good, not too hot, not too cold, not too much rain. And um, during that time, he has the opportunity to get some fresh air. He gets a little sunshine. We don't leave him in the sun too long because he is very dark and it gets pretty hot. And this way it gives our visitors a chance to get a good look at him. And then at, at about one o'clock in the afternoon, we bring the baby back inside the building and I let the family back outside and they could come out and have their lunch. But because of the way our building is configured, we could also give them the opportunity to come back in. So they can come in or out and be in the vicinity of the baby once again until about, oh, until about uh, 4.30 in the afternoon. And then he goes uh, back to the night area. And during that period of time, there's so many people who, who help us our volunteers and interns and so they help us get through the entire day and then in the evening at midnight another staff person comes in and stays until 8 in the morning so I think he does a lot of sleeping at night but when you look at the charts you see he does a lot of sleeping during the day too you know, sometimes he'll nap for an hour and a half and then get up and he's running around and just a little while ago he was just running all over the place but now he needs a nap all babies need naps